Oh, that's a jam. That's a jam. I can't believe it, but we are back, and it is another episode of What's Up Teach, episode three. So, what's up, Teach, with you, Mrs. Aronia Smith? Not much. I'm just eating this Reese's peanut butter cup. Worth it. Well earned. Well earned. We made it. It's here. It's happening. And you're, you know, we got some loyal fans wanting this video. So let's just dive right into it. Uh, Obviously, we're always going to start with some viewer questions. And the first one is, how long have you guys been teaching for and what inspired you to become teachers? From uh, Marcella Contreras, we did kind of answer this last week about like why we wanted to become teachers, but I'm sure we could talk more about that. Talk about this all day, Maricela. Thanks for the question. I think the other question was, what's your dream job? And we said- That is different. We did say teacher. I just remembered it. Um, So this is my 20th year of teaching. Um, I've taught fifth grade, sixth grade, fourth grade. And I taught preschool for a few years where I had a little preschool in my house. Um, And I taught at Head Start a long time ago too. So lots of different ages. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was 21. I was actually 20 when I started teaching preschool uh, Head Start. But um, what inspired me was my teachers. Um, I can remember vividly walking into my kindergarten classroom and just being in awe of everything that was going on. I just loved everything about school. I had some teachers I really connected with. Um, My kindergarten teacher used to work for Pasco Schools, actually. She retired a couple years ago. Yeah. Smallest world. Yep. How about you, Miss Billman? <clears throat> um, this is 10 years. Uh, I graduated in 2010, so that's strange. But uh, nine years in Pasco and kicking it. I spent like my first year in Pasco taking all of the tests to prove that I actually knew what I knew because it came from <laughs> out of state. But I would also agree, I, teachers made me want to be teachers. I love school. I would cry the last day of school. I'm not like friends. Don't. That wasn't an interest, but like, I'm going to miss going to school. That was like, what I miss. I, and now I get to do that all the time. So yeah. yeah. Awesome question. Thank you, Maricela, for submitting that. We'll head to our next one. What book would be best for a kid who typically reads comics for Cole <laughs> and he is in my fifth hour class? Great question, Cole. Great question. Um, I thought of El Defo, but you probably already read that. I haven't read any like a scandalo graphic novels for eighth grade. Um, I love El Defo, and I don't know if you'd be into the <laughs> graphic novel version of the Babysitters Club, but I love them. Those are good too. Them. What do you think, <clears throat> Zeronia Smith? Those are great. Um, the author of El Defo and Smile and uh, Sisters really showcased what you could do with a graphic novel and kind of brought it back to everyone's attention. And I love graphic novels. Um, and I think that if you are out of things to read because you've read some of those great ones that we've already mentioned, then you should definitely check out Calvin and Hobbes. Um, great comic series. There's lots of books you can buy that are collections or compilations of the comics, and they're just very witty. So you have to be kind of smart to understand the humor. There's my challenge to you. Um, But I have some from when I first started teaching. They've been taped up and fixed, and um, kids really love them. So that's my recommendation. Good recommendation. All right, our final question came from who is your favorite student? It's me, right? From Lena, uh, which I uh, asked Lena just from, I mean, I know the answer. Lena, who's your favorite teacher? It's me, right? <laughs> oh man. I've had a couple kids claim to be my favorite. I don't, I can't say that. Like I, I used to say I dislike them all equally. <laughs> So I can't, I can't say that anymore because I actually really like all of them. We don't spend enough time together for them to irritate me. <laughs> we haven't gotten to that point yet. Yeah. Uh, I haven't had anyone think they could possibly be my favorite. Uh, I, <laughs> I will say like maybe I could be my own favorite because I'm also a student of the world. So I'm my own favorite. <laughs> 
favorite of that. But still, just dying to know your answer to that question. Lena. Yeah, you answer first, Lena. Yeah, I already know what it is. It's I can take a guess. <laughs> Uh, and, you know, thanks for three students submitting questions. I mean, you guys keep submitting them, so we'll get to them as soon as possible. We just have to have an episode of just answering questions. Oh, yeah. Yeah. To, so, like, not I enjoy that. Week, maybe the week after. Maybe a Thanksgiving special. Oh, our fair, like, our first special episode. Holiday I special. Would, oh, I would love that so much. We'll put it on the calendar. Holiday special. Put it on okay. the calendar. Calendar. Uh, thanks for submitting them and keep submitting them, you guys. Thanks, uh, Lena. Next up, per usual, an update in the world of school. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard, but it is a global pandemic. Uh, I'm probably not heard of it at all, but it, it is still happening still happening yeah lots of lots of updates uh the most important one being no one knows what's happening right now do not bank on don't put all your eggs in one basket don't bank on anything don't write anything in sharpie don't write your schedule in your planner in sharpie don't do that don't things do that. are changing on the daily they are and uh things we do know is that no matter what we have you know a schedule down for the time being and we're just going to enjoy it for what we can and make sure you wash your hands uh and wear a mask yeah it. take those precautions and limit who you're around um and just try to do your best because i mm, things don't look good right now so no i i do like to play like an over under of the two week total and the last time I checked, it was like 399.1. Oh, I guessed 100. All right, under. Like, oh, yeah. The numbers are h higher than they ever have been, right? Yeah, a little bit. So, I mean, I, that's not good, but um, what, are, what are we going to do because of that? I don't know. I don't know. Oregon's kind of shutting down again um a lot of states are not doing okay so you know don't freak out we're all going to be fine but de trying to decide how we make school happen um in these conditions is pretty tough pretty tough yeah and i think we do have a pretty good system happening right now so we do even, even when things go down like teams uh <clears throat> i mean that did not I ruined my day, but even when it goes down, we still have great ways of getting a hold of everybody, and we all make it happen, but we might be doing that for a little bit longer. Do you remember when Teams first went down? It, like, incited, like, panic, but now people are just like, oh, yeah, it's down. It's down right now. Yeah, it was like, did you hear? Like, yeah, I, I, I got Oh, it. wait, that's the new snow day, is if Teams down. is down. Oh, it is, isn't it? Yeah, oh. yeah. Because kids couldn't get on there to do like their missing work and stuff. It was like a gift to them. You're welcome, you guys. No, I mean, we didn't plan that, but like maybe we did. I'm not going to Never know. Never know. Never know. <laughs> I'm not going to be a snitch. Um, yeah, there's an update in the world of school. Well, the update is we don't know. Update. Yeah, update is that there's your update and that's about it. That's yep. It. yep. Um, we are going to what well, like I like to think is like the best part of our, our face vlog show. But we'll go with it. But I love our segment of topics I really want to talk about because I think we just picked some funny stuff. So uh, last week, Mrs. Aronia Smith had, um, uh, we had done a PowerPoint on the top reasons why going to online school is GOAT, right? And I still think we're making this rock. Uh, so it's my week this week, and I picked wall art that would be in e in the houses of each crewmate on Among Us. Um, Mrs. I'm interested. Do you play? Do you play? Um, I've never played it. I have downloaded it when the kids were talking about it, and then Evie was my daughter, the seventh grader, was going to go on there. Better than I am. Um, but I don't know anything about it. It looks cool and the kids are all into it and I like these little characters. So I'm excited to see what wall art they would have in their homes. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I've played, I do like to call it amongst us. So 
Uh, but here's like what makes me like, I'm gonna sell you on why I'm able to make this decision. Uh, if things I know, I know art, I know art. I have a, a surface level understanding of, I call it amongst us, but amongst us. Um, I know how to be a terrible imposter. Like I'm so bad at it and I know someone's fine. So I can pick up on these things and I'll go through each color. If I forget a color, my bad, I don't mean to. Um, but we'll start with probably the most iconic color that goes along with this being red. Uh, red seems to be the most known that people associate this color with it. Um, I've seen posters everywhere like this, dream big, work hard, today's a new day, begin again. Uh, everywhere, I feel like you'd see red everywhere as well. Easy to find at like a Hobbs Lobs, a Michaels, you can make it. And I, I feel like it's one of those like, and we all know somebody that has this poster and that person would be the red one. They just would. <laughs> and now, there's, I'm not knocking this poster. No, no. I'm not knocking the poster. Like some of this art, like I, I like to think I always try to get pink or purple. I don't know if I would have the pink or purple art up in my house. So maybe I'm not really those colors. Um, and, and we'll be able to figure out which one you are, Mrs. Ronnie Smith. So, yeah. well, well, I don't think you're red though. You're not red. Uh, this one gave me Colleen vibes. 100%. I, I felt like your mom would be a red. She would be red. She, she, people know her. She knows everyone else. Um, I, I think she probably has this up. She knows a cute poster when she sees one. Yes. And I, I do love that each of these on their own are inspirational. So together, like you look at it and you're like, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to make some, I'm going to make something happen today. And that would be the red. So iconic, iconic. iconic. Uh, pink, which now that I've told you about how I would like to be pink or purple, seems weird because pink are these babies <laughs> from, I think, Ann Gettys. Ann Gettys. Yeah. Throwback to these kids as parents. Their yeah. parents will remember the oh Ann Gettys. Gosh. So there's like pops of color. It's sneaky, like totally normal. Just kidding. It's babies. Um, like you look at it and you're like, well, wait a second, are those babies really like a sea anemone or I, I'm so perplexed by it, but like this pink would be weird enough to have, again, this pink definitely doesn't even have to have kids or anything, but has this like, oh yeah, I found this and it's just babies dressed up in these headdresses and I, I it just, I love it. I'm it okay. seems like something pink would buy. Oh, 100%. And actually, pink would probably be like, why is pink not in the middle? But really, <laughs> it, it, yellow needed to be in the middle. So uh, the next one is orange. Orange is a good one. Orange would be a Mark Rothko, probably an original. So like IRL, these things are massive. And I feel like orange would also have this and all blue, which you're like, wait, they don't even have those colors. Um, but they're complementary colors. So Orange would look more vibrant and important, and I guarantee orange would stand in front of it and be like, yeah, I can't believe I own this Mark Rothko. Like, I I just imagine, like, kind of like the other, like, pink had one with pink in it. I feel like orange would not pick one with orange. Right. It, he, would just, make, he would pick something that would make him look better. He, he like, totally does. Totally does. Okay. Uh, but it's just, it's a vibe. A vibe that they throw out that I'm like, mm, okay, I could see that. I could see that. Yeah. And who has the money for a real Mark Rothko? I mean, orange does, but uh, <laughs> next one. It's that orange. Like, that orange, real Mark Rothko. Uh, yellow is live, laugh, love, and I'm not even going to fight about it. Like, I, this is <laughs> obvious. Look at the yellow. They obviously have live, laugh, love inside their house. I'm not knocking this sign, but they do. Uh, yellow is the third mom. This is like an if you know, you know. Like, I think I did this wrong. Like, if you, it, yeah, I always do this wrong. But, like, if you know, you can know. <laughs> I'll even change it right now. If you know, you know. And that's from, like, TikTok. So, like, the, ah, let me switch it. But on, on the TikTok, there's these moms that do the, it's been too long, it's been too long, it's been too long for you to call back. Uh, and there's a third mom that just gets totally into it, and she would have this. Uh, most likely also has lyrics to I Hope You Dance somewhere in the house. 100%. Hey. Not even going to fight about it. I mean, yellow sounds like a good friend. Yeah, I bet yellow's a great friend. Yeah. A great friend, somebody that would come with you. Like, yellow and red are friends, ride or die. 
they probably have the best inspirational messages in a group chat. I just, I could see that. I could see that. Yeah. Uh, up next is, this would be like lime green, right? So science humor, this Times Ooh. New Roman font keeps you wondering, like, is it a joke? Is it, I enjoy bacon periodically, or I enjoy bacon periodically. Oh, I, I it's a tone thing. Um, I probably <laughs> followed up with get it. You might not. It might be over your head. Like I could see lime. Ooh, green. lime green's a scientist. scientist. Okay, scientist. I know. I know who it makes me think of. Who does it make you think of? Maybe Kim. Kim. Oh, Kim. Kim's probably agreed. She's probably agreed. Oh, Kim, I hope you see this. Yeah. Oh, you're going to have to tag her in it. Kim's a green. I could, and I would laugh about this too. Like it's, I would, I would. Uh, up next, arguably what I think you are, Mrs. Ernest. Oh, yeah, yeah. So like this dark green, it's classic. It, they probably painted, you probably painted this picture yourself. Right, and the favorite part of this painting is the ace that's betwixt the toes on the bulldog. Like it's this eye for detail that like not everyone notices or like even the time, you know, they don't even notice it. Uh, <laughs> like you'll walk by and like laugh while saying dog with a card in their paw. <laughs> like I, I, and I love this picture. Like even the little foot up on the, uh, on the chair and like clearly like these are the same card but this bulldog's like, yeah, yeah, like I already got it down here. Like I, I love this. And like, it's a picture with a painting in it as well. Like it's everything. It's I would everything. only be happier if the picture was of dogs in the picture, oh! in the picture was of dogs. Then I would be like really excited, but no, that's completely true because in real life, I'm constantly reliving moments of my favorite TV shows to you that you've like never seen. I'm like, it's so funny. I love it. I, I yeah. Know. Okay. Also, look at the way the dog um, that's got his leg up. He's sending out Tristan vibes. Oh. That's how Tristan sits during our Zooms. So I hope he's watching. Oh, got to tag him in it. Got to I mean, I don't yeah. know if you can even do that, but tag him in it. Tag is tagging a thing on YouTube? I don't even know. I don't, I don't know. know. I We're figuring this out as we go. I was told I need to fix the, like, intro card or, like, the stuff. I don't know. I... I know there's a lot, uh, but the fact that we're filming it, I'm living for it. We're already there. We're already there. Uh, yeah. The, this one, and I, this is just a good one. It's classic. I'm, I'm uh, green. I would agree that I'm probably green. And artistic. I love it. Love it. Up next is blue. So, like, blue, like, celestial things. But here, like, I love these pictures. I love these. But there's no in-between on this. Blue would pick a moment and not share the meaning of it. So they would just pick it, they wouldn't even say like what it is. Or they would buy it from someone else and not understand that it isn't unique to them. Like at a garage sale? Yeah, they'd be like, oh man, I love this too. Lake Havasu, what? <laughs> I've never been there. Or it would be like written in code and they'd be like, oh my gosh, Blue. Uh, what, what was that special moment you're talking about here? Nothing, nothing, <laughs> tell you that. Like there's no- Wait. Would blue also have like a um, tattoo written in another language that they actually like didn't know what it means? They just like the look of the tattoo? Oh, 100%. 100%. Okay. Yeah. Like, I mean, maybe you, you, maybe you guys can think of a, a, someone blue in your life, um, but I, 100%. 100%. Okay. Oh, I, and I, I still love these, but there's no in between. There's, it's one or the other. One or the other. Uh, next up. Well, light blue, uh, it's ocean vibes. Like I could just see this, but it's different because it's over three canvases, not one. They probably took the picture themselves. I am also contemplating the idea that thrown around, they didn't mean to order it over three canvases, but then they pick it up and they're like, no, this is exactly what I wanted. Yeah, it's like they don't want to admit that this was the wrong thing, but they keep it in their house anyway. I could mm, see that happening. Mm. I could see it. I, I could relate a little bit to this aqua colored blue because um, I would buy that just because it takes up more space on the wall oh. and then you don't have to buy more pictures. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Yeah, and I, I've seen some like really cool ones 
that are, yeah. of, you do have to have them like kind of near each other, but I've seen, I've also seen people try to do like one on each wall. Oh no. That doesn't, that's, that's not how that that's works. Not, that's not how it works. Yeah. It actually looks weirder when you do it that way. Yeah. Uh, up next, <laughs> it's purple. It's a neon sign, but is it art or is it sculpture? It's both. Uh, it's a balloon dog because Avi's purple has a great sense of humor. Like, I think you might be purple, Miss I Bellman. think I am. Uh, purple, I'm fun, I'm carefree, life of the party, but you also know purple is paranoid about either, like, did I turn it off? I don't remember. Did I keep it on all day? And <laughs> while they keep it on, they're just thinking of how much it costs to keep it turned on. That's all. The electricity. <laughs> yeah, that's all they're thinking about. And then they're thinking, like, what if somebody touches it? What if, what if they get burned? What if they get that? Why did I get it as a dog? Why do people know these still? Like, do balloon makers still exist? I I would guess so because I like all I, kinds of balloons. I think purple is like like committed to that though as wall art because oh, yeah. they know right. no one else is gonna have it. Oh, like that's super unique. And purple just like walks around like, don't even act like you have this wall art. This is not at a some chain store. Like you have to like really you look. It. You you've it. just searched the interweb for that stuff. Typed in balloon dog wall art and don't ask me why they searched it, but they did. And this is what <laughs> came up. <laughs> oh, completely. Completely. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it is one that just, I, I'm obsessed with and I'm like, okay, well, I guess I have a purple then. And I'll be thinking all about how I hope it's electric, like efficient and not ruining my electrical. And if I'm really this purple, I'm going to be bothered. Like, where does the cord go? I don't. <laughs> you have to put it by an outlet. I guess, I guess. Like Very on limiting. On Very limiting. Ground. On the ground. Uh, next up. We got white. White is a Rorschach test. White's going to ask you what you see in the picture, and they're completely judging you based on what you answer, but they're also telling you, I'm not, I'm just asking you, like, but what do you see? Um, <laughs> I mean, I see, I, I feel like I'm seeing, like, two, could be, like, an angel, like, two heads of, like, two oh. angels, and they're giving up, like, a sign like they're at like a concert of like a Metallica concert and they're just living their best lives and they're like oh this is so great that's what I'm saying what are you saying what are you saying I, I see an evil bunny. evil bunny yeah I feel like that probably says something bad about my personality or something no, I, I I don't even know because neither of us are the white uh, crew member Oh, true. No, so we don't know what they think. I don't know. It's very intimidating. I think White would also be like, oh, yeah, do you know what these are called? And someone would be like, oh, yeah, an inkblot test. And he'd be like, <laughs> that's not what it's actually called. Completely. Completely. I was really torn between this one is either like the Rorschach test or like Patrick Bateman from American Psycho. And like, you just know it's going down. Yeah. Yeah, I would agree. Ooh, up next black black has this keith herring it's this uh speak no evil see no evil hear no evil has this bright colors a strong outline everything else in their home is gray black or white like there is no in between and this pop of color like what they think they call it spicy and they'll say like oh did you see on my art it's spicy isn't it like it's but it's really it's just this print like it <laughs> The fact that it didn't have orange, like they're like, okay, I can have it, but if it had one more color in it, I can't have it. Like they wouldn't. That'd be an, an end game for them. It, it would be like, oh, yeah. And I can't believe this, but there's one more color. There's so many of these players. I already know also, you know who this, who's black. I have a few people in mind. Two people specifically. <laughs> Two people uh, that look the same. I, maybe they're watching. Maybe, they're watching. maybe at the same time in a different home, just yes, yes. being twinning up, twinning up their life. And you know, I actually really like Keith Haring. It's great stuff. I, and this one, I was like, "There's three colors that's pushing it." Wait, they're both moving. I think we should buy them a colorful you piece of wall them. art just to annoy them. Get them the same one or a different one. And actually, move the same, the same. You don't have a, th a thing about twins. Like, I really want some twins. Um, also, my son is a black one because he just picked out everything in his room. Everything's white. Oh. 
like the bed, the sheets, the lamp. Like I cannot bring anything in his room if it's not white. What, so I'm, unless maybe I could try to give him well, that too, that too. I could try to give him one of these paintings, yeah, uh, see what he does with it. A, find a Keith Haring for him. Like it's spicy. No, you're probably right. He's the white one. He, he is because he would be like, what do you see? And then try to mess with your head. Don't tell him what I said though. I don't, that stays here. Stay, he, he'll never watch this. It's too mainstream for him. So it's fine. Mainstream. <laughs> you know, not how I would describe us, too mainstream. Uh, the final color being brown. And this is the scream, which is like iconic, but it's different because it has Squidward. It's a nod to a classic with a giggle to a revamp. And they're absolutely going to ask if you have noticed the art immediately upon arriving to their home like you're gonna walk in and they'll be like yeah but did you see it but did you see it like do you even know this? and you're gonna be like oh yeah that looks like this green by Edward Munch and they'll be like okay bye 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 did you see it though because it's Squidward like they I just know that. I know for okay this is my mom really? because my mom will post things on Facebook and then she will immediately message me did you see what I posted on Facebook like she wants me to see her gems that she finds oh. so yeah she would do that she would have this piece of art and then ask everyone when they come in but did you see it but hers needs to be freddie mercury in the doing the scream yeah, yes doing the scream. oh that'd be pretty good now i need to google it she probably wants to buy it now go buy it mom i know she's like buying it and she's gonna post it, gonna post it. and then she's gonna message me and say hey, did you see it did you see it <laughs> did you see it uh, Mrs. Serenia Smith, that was all of the colors of, oh. uh, that I can remember of the crewmen of uh, Amongst Us. And that was just some casual art that I thought would be hanging in their house for this episode and segment of topics I really want to talk about. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it thoroughly, Miss Billman. Your knowledge of art and of the show, of the show, and of the game Amongst Us amongst shined us. through. We should rate the PowerPoints. So oh, okay. like your first PowerPoint that was about uh, oh, Jean Bonnet, you. that was a solid 10 for me. <laughs> that was the springboard for What's Up Teach <laughs> for our What show. Um, and then I would say that this Amongst Us, I don't know, it was solid, a nine. Like I thought it was great. Yeah, I thought yours was a 10. Like it was the, the part that, well, the puberty one, that one. I just like <laughs> I saying puberty. Jealous. And then the last one, when it's a, like, because you really want to be back in school. Like, that one was a, oh, it's true. Oh, that one is at the heart. Shut well, up. if it's all, like, tens, the, I didn't know I could pick another ten, or I would give Amongst Us a ten oh. as well. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do for next week. I, you get, I mean, somebody did ask about binary code, so we could hmm. dig into that, or, um, uh, there, are, wait. there are a couple other questions. Okay, we'll look, but it has to be things that we want to talk about. Yeah, it's a topic I don't even that know. I want to talk about. We could include binary code in our question segment. Yeah, I, quick one. I know nothing, so. Same, same. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it, it's a, been a great run for, this is now episode three, uh, and we're going to be those people, and make sure you send in your questions using the forums on Teams, um, and yeah. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. And we're going to see you in our next face cast. Um, but also, I guess now we'll just totally have to do a Thanksgiving one that is just a holiday episode of all questions. Yes. All okay. Let's do that next. Would that be next week or the week after? We have the week after. Okay. The pressure's still on for me to come up with what, one. Okay. What topic should... What topic is keeping Mrs. Aroni Smith up at night? Okay, I'm going to think about it. Oh, All right. gosh. Oh, I need to play some parting tunage. Oh, yeah. Well, parting tunage. I'm, I'm going to make sure I go. I think it's like every song is terrible, but that's okay. But we'll just jam <laughs> out, I guess. It's Friday. Today's an, This is a Friday episode. It's odd for us. A special edition. Special, because there was no school Wednesday.